Good morning. I've made some more progress on our vegetable washing machine for use at home and wanted to show you what we've done and how we accomplished it. Keep watching and I'll show you how. Now I said in the previous video I was going to build a stand for this to allow me to drain the water through the bottom and reuse it in the garden. I got to thinking about it and decided to do this the easiest and cheapest way that I possibly could. I've already got this concrete pad here which is about 20 inches high. My garden is a couple of feet lower than the elevation of this barrel so I'm going to be able to use gravity pretty easy to get the water down there. I just don't need to make a tall stand for what we're going to do. I've already had these cinder blocks sitting out next to the barn. They've been sitting there for years. I'm going to repurpose them. I went with three-quarter inch PVC. The reason for that is a three-quarter inch PVC with a male threaded coupler on it here on the end, I can screw a standard size garden hose directly to it. When I open the valve with a hose attached to it, it's going to gravity feed down to the garden and I'm going to be able to use the water that we've washed our vegetables with to water the garden. I've not glued anything together here and I'm going to take this apart Go back to my tailgate of my truck, take everything apart, and I'm going to give you measurements for what I've cut. Without my barrel pulled to the edge of this concrete pad, there would not be enough room for my fitting to clear the surface underneath it. If you're going to do something like this, you may need four concrete blocks instead of two. All right, let me take this thing apart get some measurements for you and show you exactly what we've got and talk about price. Here is everything laid out on the tailgate that I'm going to need for this project. I have a file and if you don't have a file some sandpaper like 120 grit, 220 grit would work fine to clean up the rough surfaces and I'll show you that here in a bit. You need three quarter inch PVC. It doesn't matter if it is the thin walled or the thick walled either will work. I have thin wool PVC that I already had here at the house, so I have no cost in that at all. The ball valve here was $3. Again, it's three quarter inch. Put a 90 degree elbow in there to get this male fitting pointed out towards me to make it easier to connect a garden hose to it. These pieces of PVC that go between each of the fittings is one and three quarter inches long and I cut that with a PVC cutter and the inch and a quarter hole saw this was actually this was about 25 bucks you might be able to borrow this from somebody and do it a little bit cheaper I have not glued any of this together yet because I need to show you how it's done in the video. Ultimately, I will put glue on there, seal everything up so that it doesn't come apart or leak. If any of you are interested, I'm going to put a link in the description box to the valve and the fitting over there on the end. It will take you to Amazon and it is linked to my wife's account. If you purchase those items through her link, she's going to get a little bit of money to buy shoes with. She'll love us both for it. All right, let me shut this down and show you how I'm going to install this in the barrel. Now, you may not be able to see it, but there are these little divots here and here on the bottom of that barrel. I want something that is flush for that uni seal to make contact with to help ensure that it doesn't leak. There's no divots here. I want this to be as clean of a cut as possible. I don't want jagged edges. I want a smooth surface for that unit seal to seal against. So I'm not really going to push it. I'm going to let the weight of the drill do the work for me. Now I've got a little bit of a jagged edge on the inside. I'm going to use 
file here on my Leatherman and this round file just to smooth it up. on the inside. I'm going to flip this over and take care of those. My hole is made. I have deburred the hole. It is nice and smooth and it's time to install the uniseal. To ensure that you don't rip or tear your uniseal you want to lubricate this before you install it and the PVC that's going to go into it before you put it together. This uniseal needs to go on from the inside and it's going to poke up through the bottom or out the bottom like that. The PVC is going to push through from the inside towards the outside. And you're not going to be able to tell this on the camera, but this is actually tapered. The wall is thicker here than it is here. So as this pushes through, it's going to push out against the object you're passing through and make a tight seal. I'm not going to be able to get the camera in the barrel and you to see what I'm doing. It's a pretty simple process. Lubricate, lubricate, and just push the uniseal down through the hole. I'm going to do this off camera and then I'll come back. Our uniseal is installed and the three quarter inch PVC is pushed in through it. I'll show you here. The PVC is pushed down flush with the top of the uniseal and is sticking out on the bottom here. And there is the uniseal installed. That PVC is pushed down flush with the top of that uniseal. And a portion of it is sticking out the back. I'm going to connect that valve to it and this project will be done. I've got this thing reassembled. I'm going to fill it with water and we're going to start washing carrots. Before I continue, I would like to say thank you to all of the new subscribers. We've had a bunch of them over the last few months. I truly appreciate it. Leave a comment in the comment section. It improves the interaction with my channel and it is going to help to get my channel out to new people that are interested in what we're doing here. If you can give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if this is something that you're interested in, I would appreciate it. If you have not seen the video where we go through the assembly of this vegetable washing machine, I will add that in-screen video link here for you now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.